gentlemen, welcome back to the All Drilling All the Time channel. Actually, I need, uh, I have need of a glass receptacle with a hole in it. And uh, for one hole, I can't bring myself to go out and buy a diamond hole saw. So what I'm gonna use is a bimetal saw. That's uh, old and worn out. And don't call me crazy just yet. To the bottom of that, we're gonna add some H2O, the universal solvent, and silicon carbide from the pottery store. I don't know what potters use silicon carbide for, but it's an excellent abrasive. So we're gonna add the silicon carbide. This stuff is bad for you. I don't know how bad, but uh, you know, actually if they just put warnings like, this will make your dingus fall off, then you guaranteed everybody would be wearing a respirator, but uh, long-term toxicological damage. Like, who cares? I'll be dead and gone before that bothers me, right? Am I right? Anyway, filter it through a cigarette. You'll be just fine. I think I put too much water in there. We just make a slurry of silicon carbide, and uh, you probably don't want to dump that all over your mill, especially the ways. Uh, but yeah, I just did. Okay, and you do not want this running at 11 because it'll spray schmoo everywhere. Nobody likes schmoo in the face. Am I right? Yeah, that's all there is to it. I'm going to put a little bit of a weight on the quill handle here and then uh, just let her chooch on her own. Because uh, it's going to take a long time. All right, now that is a pleasant sound and we have this perfectly calibrated with just the right feed pressure. We've also got ourselves a stirring stick to uh, make sure the abrasive gets to where it's gonna go. Okay, well, we came across one of the limitations of glass is that it's very brittle and it fails without warning, so. I was over here working away, uh, something else on the workbench. Heard a smash, boom, crash, and there we go. No es bueno. Well, clearly that had nothing to do with me. It was junk glass. But uh, I think the solution now, oh yeah, look at that, it's working great. But I think uh, instead of clamping it down, I'm going to glue it to a base. Comme vous voyez la colle à Et aujourd'hui, j'espère de d'éviter la routine baveux avec la face de mi carême. Je suis plutôt euh, en ouais, c'est pas ta mère fesse là-dessus, mais euh, aujourd'hui, on va on va être plutôt sage. Et aux témoins français, veuillez m'excuser, j'ai plutôt la gueule de bois, tête carrée, anglophone comme je suis. En tout cas, j'essaie. Like I said, brittle materials are uh, sketchy, so I just did a little Creole voodoo spell. We're gonna have better luck today. All right, so we got her all cromulated there and we're just gonna add the uh, silicon carbide. And uh, uh, I got a question to ask. My neck is just killing me. And I didn't actually do anything. I just woke up this way. Is this what it's like to get old? Because if it is, it sucks. I'm, you can count me out. Now, while I was having my coffee this morning, I, I had a brainwave. We're going to run this in reverse. For obvious reasons. Reverse. The sweet, sweet sound of metal on glass. I don't get it, man. This is Pyrex, I mean, it's the crappy Pyrex. Not the uh, borosilica glass, but something else. It just, I don't get it, don't get it. So clearly I'm missing something here. It's like Prince Roop, one of those Prince Rupert drops, super hard, but you hit it in the right spot and it just shatters. So I was cleaning this up and I, I was holding it actually by the wood and this part just popped right out. So obviously this is pre-stressed somehow or thermally stressed internally and uh, you can see here, it did a good job, we're almost through, but there's a little hairline crack, actually two, that go right through there. 
I'm gonna have to do some more research. I would appreciate it if someone's got some experience cutting glass. I don't know if there's any glaziers or anything that watch this channel, but if there are, uh, help a brother out, man. I don't, I'm pretty much tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. Uh -huh.